viewers welcome to this video in this video we will be looking at uh, the 2021 GCE science paper 1 paper question b2 question b2 reads a man of mass 75 kilograms on earth goes to the moon where the gravitational field strength is 1.6 newton per kilogram a man of mass 75 kilograms on earth goes to the moon where the gravitational field strength is 1.6 newton per kilogram a what is the mass of the man on the moon so we need to understand this about mass and this usually comes in as a problem i don't know why always remember that mass is the quantity of matter in a substance so let's take for example there are three billion atoms okay there are three billion atoms of let's say carbon in this carbon substance okay when you take it anywhere the number of atoms will not change they will still remain three billion so since mass is the amount of matter in a given substance, it does not change. It remains constant. However, what changes is the weight of the object because weight depends on the magnitude of the gravitational field strength. And the gravitational field strength changes from one place to another depending on the distance, one, from the center of mass of the heavenly body. Okay, and also the weight of the heavenly body. So the sun is bigger than the earth. So we expect the sun to, ha to have a bigger gravitational field strength. However, this, the earth is bigger than the moon. So hence the moon has a smaller gravitational field strength. So the weight on these three heavenly bodies will be different. An object will weigh most on the sun compared to on the earth. And the least will be on the moon, where the gravitational field strength is the least of the three objects. So here the question basically is just talking about mass. So the mass remains the same. So the mass will still remain as 75 kilograms. Hence, this guy being put as one. So this. So here your job. This space is not important. Your job is just to write 75 kilograms. And kilo is written as small letter K, small letter G, not capital letter K. Capital letter K is for Kelvins. Always remember that. Okay, let's go to B. B is saying, what is the weight of the man on the moon what is the weight of the man on the moon weight is a force okay so weight is a force and it is a force uh, calculated as weight is equal to m g all right m being the mass g being the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational field strength so this is going to be 75 multiply by 1.6 okay 75 multiply by 1 point so 75 multiply by 1.6 is 120 so 120 so it's a 120 so 120 so this will be equal to 120 120 what weight is a force so it will be a newton so weight is equal to 120 newtons so that is the weight of the object so for showing your work there it's usually a mark and the final answer is usually another mark so always remember to show your working so uh let's say 120 newtons so mm, we now move to c C is saying a light track of mass 2,000 kilograms accelerates from rest at a rate of 1.5 meters per second squared. A light track of mass 2,000 kilograms accelerates from rest at a rate of uh, 
1.5 meters per second squared. Calculate the force required to accelerate the car at this rate. So, calculate the what? The force required to accelerate uh, the car. So, force, force from Newton's second law of motion, we have force is equal to mass times acceleration, which is ma. Okay? So we have our mass and always check the units. So our mass is in kilograms and the SI units for mass is kilograms. So the mass is okay. So we are going to say 2000 kilograms multiplied by, okay, uh, multiplied by uh, acceleration. The acceleration we've been given as 1.5 meters per second squared. So 1.5 uh, meters per second squared. Now, take note, if you cannot follow the units, don't write them. If you cannot follow the units, leave these guys out, okay? If you can't follow them, leave them. Just write 2,000 times 1.5. So, 2,000 kilograms times 1.5 meters per second squared uh, will be, so it's 2,000 multiplied by 1.5. So this gives us 3,000, 3,000. So we have 3,000. So this is equal to 3,000. 3,000 what? It's a force, Newtons. So we're going to now write force is 3,000 Newtons. So this is our answer. This brings us to the end of this video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. See you next time.